Welcome to Malaga, welcome to Bike World, welcome to BMW's new F900GS. Now we've got kind of two part test here. This morning is gonna be off-road with off-road tires with the Enduro spec. So that's different suspension designed more for off-road. Then this afternoon, we'll try the road bike or more road bias tires with a performance package more suited for the road. So it's like a two part test and it'll be interesting to see what the F900GS like is like in both these worlds. It obviously replaces the 850 GS, which has been around for probably longer than I have. It's a massive step. It is colossal. It's more power, more torque, and about 14 kilograms less weight, and littered with rider aids that the old bike could only dream about. So let's see what this new model is like in perfect conditions here in Southern Spain. So just getting into the hillsides above Malaga. Got to be careful that we're on the off-road bias tire. It's a bit cold. But it's nice that you could just switch off the traction on the fly. Just press that button, no traction. If you want to change the other modes, like when you go to Enduro, we'll play with those later. But it's really like, really talky off the bottom and it is small, as in quite narrow. It's really kind of playful, just bounce it off the, onto the back wheel whenever you want. I mean, that's without even trying. Woo. It's a bit fresh though. Clutch feels, I don't know. It feels, I wouldn't say strange, but just a lot of play in it. And need to have a look at that when we stop. So, into Enduro. Let's go Enduro rather than Enduro Pro. First impressions. The bars feel like they're in the right position. Got the little reverse uh, on the brake lever, on the back brake. There is something just nice about riding on the road and then just pressing a button and going off road. Now the suspension is manual. Uh, it's not semi-active, so nothing's changed in the suspension. We've just changed the power characteristics and the rider aids. I don't know why, but I always find it easier going going uh, uphill than downhill off-road. I don't think I've got any ABS on the rear. Let's try that again. Oh, I've got some. What an awesome way to spend the morning in Malaga, riding with good mates on BMW's F900 GS. Obviously we've got the off-road bias tires and we slightly tweaked the suspension, but that is, if you tick all the boxes, the bike that you'll have. Started off this morning, kind of getting used to the bike, playing with the road, when we're on the road, then Enduro and Enduro Pro, and then you kind of fine tune it to how you ride and, and your style. Personally, I preferred Enduro Pro because then you have ABS on the front, no ABS on the rear, but the throttle delivery for me was a little bit sharp because most of the stuff we were doing this morning was first and second gear. So it's been playing around with the modes whilst we just had a little kind of break between photo shoots. And um, if you're in the Enduro Pro, you're in a dynamic throttle response. And if you're in Enduro, you're in the road throttle response. Um, so I, I like the fact in Enduro Pro, I've got this bit of traction and not bit of traction. So in Enduro Pro, I've just turned the power down a bit to road because I feel in the in the dynamic there was just a little bit too much when you off the bottom when you're in the tricky little bits but it depends I guess how it what kind of trails that you ride on but it's quite simple and easy to do what's also got to be complimented which I really hate on other models is the fact that I can change these modes I can turn the traction on and can turn it off I can do everything I want to do on the fly none of this having to stop and read a manual it's very simple and very easy so when you go from off-road to on-road, you want a little bit of traction because there's mud on the tire and, you, and you're obviously on-road. And then when you go off-road, you switch it back off again, slide the rear around. Also worth mentioning, when you're in that road mode, the connection is beautiful. Once you get the slide going, it feels like you can just make the rear go five to 10 miles an hour more than the front and just get a nice, 
beautiful progressive slide. The front is excellent. The front is really, really good. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Carries the weight really well. And even when you're braking, it's not pushing wide. Really impressive. And the ABS is impressive. Really impressive bike off-road. We'll go into more of this later, but this afternoon we need to try the road version. The road version has different suspension. It has uh, dynamic modes that are for performance, not for off-road. So we'll try that this afternoon. And then later on, when we get back to the hotel, we'll sink a few beers and come up with a conclusion. This pops a little wheelie all day long. Second gear, a little bar. What a brilliant end to a brilliant day. Sorry, Chris, um, thoroughly enjoyed it. And yes, this is not a holiday, this is work. But we've had the opportunity to ride the F900GS off-road. We've had to ride the standard bike on-road, on the on-road tires. And it's just been an awesome day. Perfect weather, perfect conditions, and some really serious miles. Off-road, really, really enjoyed this bike. Really suited the trails that we were doing. The off-road tires worked really well from uh, Metzler. As I said a little bit before in one of the pieces of the camera, you can just tailor the bike quite quickly and quite easily and trim it to how you want to ride, which really makes it uh, beneficial. So if you're quite a novice, you can put it in the enduro mode, have ABS on the front, have ABS on the back, have some traction control and just ride it just normally and just enjoy some trails. If you're a bit more experienced like myself, you can turn off the ABS on the rear, put it in enduro pro and just slide the rear around, have no traction and no ABS on the rear. And if you're at Chris's level, you can go one stage further. Really impressive front end, doesn't push the front when you're trying pretty hard off-road. You can do quite a lot on the bike and it still felt quite safe and quite secure. And the ABS off-road saved me on probably three or four occasions, to be hey. fair. Hey! The ride this afternoon has been really good fun, really enjoyable, loads of power, loads of torque, more than enough almost questions to the point of why you'd want the bigger GS or some of the competition. Really, really enjoyable ride, especially when the temperature came up. We had a bit more feeling in those bridge stones. Ground clearance was okay, but just once or twice where it just touched the pegs. But you've got to be riding pretty aggressive to do that. Overall, it's difficult to compare it to the old bike because it is such a massive step. It's considerably lighter, it's got way more tech, and it's got more power. But what's interesting is that this bike now sits in that really tough competition with the Africa Twin, the KTM, the Norden, and the Tiger. The Tiger I rode on these roads just before Christmas. I think the Tiger's probably got a little bit more character and a little bit more punch and a little bit more rev happy engine, possibly a little bit sportier. Maybe the KTM and the Norden and maybe slightly better off road. It's difficult when not all the bikes are here together and I've not ridden the New Africa Twin. But overall today, what this has taught us is that BMW are back in the game. They're back in the fight. Before the 850 was really lacking behind the competition in my opinion, and now they're right in it with the competition. It's price competitively standard, but it obviously being a BMW, once you start ticking the boxes, you can get to 14, 15,000 pounds. So if this was a school report, it would kind of be B plus overall categories. It's not really shining at anything, and it's not bad at anything. Like comfort is good, the power is good, the fueling is good, the rider modes are good, it's easy to change the modes. I actually like the styling and the looks in the trophy colours. It's good off-road, great front end, B+, 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 B+. Time for a big group test. Time for me and Chris to get these bikes together. Time for maybe another holiday in Spain. I mean, work in Spain. If you've got any questions, fire them below. I'll try and get some answers back to you. Yes, I do like it in this colours, and no, I don't like it in the yellow.